One of Osan's main fighting forces is down for repairs. This F-16 has a wing that needs replacement. There's a, a faulty wing pump and we can't change it here at home station. So we just replace the whole wing and then it'll get fixed at another company. Replacing the wing involves a thorough cleaning of the bolt holes and the 16 bolts that attach the wing to the body. To get the F-16 back up in the air as soon as possible, fuel systems personnel work day and night to change the wing. What we have is about three people on each a 12 hour shift and it's just consecutive till it's done. The, the, the night shift guys, they were already working their 12 hours and, and they were in here jobbing out and we come walking in and, and seeing how much that, that they had got done and that just energized us to come in and, uh, and, and step it up just a little. A 24-7, 12 hour rotating shift like this usually takes three days to fully complete the switch out. Today, there are more than the regular three members working on shift. The younger crew members are here for experience training. Try to get those guys involved a little bit, get them some experience, because this is the only, this is the only way they're going to get experience is to come out here and, uh, and do it. Opportunities like these are rare for aircraft fuel systems personnel. A repair like this only happens about once a year. Despite the 12-hour shifts, the team worked hard and maintained a positive attitude. Fuel shop's awesome, and uh, we, uh, we work really hard, and uh, we don't complain about it. Airman First Class Sarah Bryce, Osan Air Base, South Korea.